Hello everyone and welcome back to our karting series where we've been working on our track. In last episode we worked on how to calculate the distance around the track we have made but in this episode we're going to work on the direction so we can warn the player if they're going the wrong way and correctly calculate things like laps later on. So let's get started. So last time we made our track uh, spline uh, to indicate where the player should be on the track. Uh, we're now going to go ahead and put together the direction so we know which way they're going on the track and this is important because we don't want the player to be able to just reverse to gain a lap we want them to um get the lap legitimately by going through the whole the whole path so we need to know which direction they're going and also warn them if they're going the wrong way too so on this get track progress we can also as well as get distance we can get direction from the spline so if i get the spline type in direction and I want to get direction at distance along the spline. We'll find direction closest to world location. We could use that if you want. And the world location is the actor location. So let's just put that in there. And that again, world space. And for this, we need to know if it's going the same way as our player character. So to do that, we can use a dot product. So I'm going to get our forward vector of the actor. And I want to do a dot product between these two values. And the dot product is going to give us a result which is going to reflect whether or not these are similar. If they're similar, that means that we're going in the right way. So if they're similar, going the right way, it'll be a positive number. If they're more opposite, it'll go more negative. So we can use a dot here to determine which way we're going. So I'm going to change the string here, print string. And we're going to print a select string out. And this dot here is going to determine that. So if, we go, if it's greater than zero, A is going to say correct direction. And B is going to say wrong direction. So as you can see, I'm going the correct direction. But if I were to turn around, we're now going the wrong direction. Now it's based upon the way that we're facing. So if I was to reverse, that's still going to tell us we're going the correct direction, which obviously we're not. So if you wanted it to be the other way around and have it so that it's looking at the movement vector of the cart, not the facing vector, rather than using the get actor forward vector, we get the velocity of the actor and we normalize this. And now squish it down and what that gives us is the direction that we're moving in. So I'm gonna put that in to the dot here instead of the forward vector. And let's see if I go the right way, no problem. But if I start reversing, we get the wrong direction. If I reverse here, you get the correct direction. So you may prefer this method. Um, but again, it's totally up to you how you want to communicate that to the player. Um, I particularly like this method because it means the player just can't hold down the reverse button and get so, oh, some points. Yeah, they have to go around the correct direction. So there you have it, a very quick and easy way to determine whether or not you're going the right or the wrong way around the track. This is all going to be useful as in the next episode we're going to look at laps and how we can calculate when the player has done a lap and when they've done enough laps to complete the race. You can watch that next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley where you can find all that videos early before anyone else from just $1 a month. Thank you so much for watching, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.